Chapter 22. They don't deliver Luke to the tower atop a Death Star, or the Emperor, without rising from his throne, used the force to release Luke from his binders. After Palpatine ordered his red armored royal guard to leave the throne room, Vader presented Luke's new lightsaber for inspection. The Emperor was confident that Luke would join him as his father had. Unimpressed by the Emperor, Luke refused to be converted to the dark side. However, his confidence was badly shaken when the Emperor confessed that it was he who had allowed the Rebel Alliance to learn the location of the Death Star and its shield generator, and that the Empire was completely prepared to deal with the imminent attack from the, the Rebel fleet. As Luke looked through the throne room's tall windows to see the arrival of the Rebel ships, Vader sensed his son's increased anxiety. The space battle progressed, and it was obvious that uh, the Rebel ships were uh, greatly... Outnumbered by Imperial fighters, while the Emperor remained seated upon his throne, he taunted Luke, urging him to take back his lightsaber and give in to his anger. Again, Luke refused. But then the Emperor revealed that the Death Star super laser was operational and issued a command for the gunners to fire at will. An intense beam shot out from the Death Star toward a large rebel cruiser, which explo exploded in a blinding flash. The Emperor continued to goad Luke into retrieving his lightsaber. Strike me down with all of your hatred, the Emperor spat, and your journey to the dark side will be complete. Using the Force, Luke snatched up his weapon, activated its blade, and swung fast at the Emperor's head. But Vader moved faster, activating his own lightsaber to def definitely block Luke's attack. The sight of Vader and Luke crossing lightsabers excited and amused the Emperor, and he cackled with perverse glee. Vader recalled that Palpatine had laughed the same way over two decades ago when he had ordered Anakin Skywalker to kill Count Dooku. I was the victor then, Vader thought as he used his lightsaber to drive Luke away from the Emperor, and the Force is with me now. As their duel carried on throughout the throne room, the Dark Lord sensed that Luke was, was drawing from his own anger to fuel his attack. From his throne, the Emperor said, Good! Use your aggressive feelings, boy. Let the hate flow through you. My master wants Luke to win, Vader realized with some resentment. I will not give him that satisfaction. I will not be... Unexpectedly, Luke deactivated his lightsaber and said, I will not fight you, father. You are unwise to lower your defenses, Vader said, as he brought his lightsaber up fast. With incredible speed, Luke reactivated his weapon to parry Vader's attack. Vader swung again and again, but Luke blocked each blow. Soon, Vader was breathing hard through his respirator. I can't let Luke defeat me, Vader thought. I won't let the Emperor have him. A precise kick from Luke sent Vader over the edge of the elevated platform. Crushing upon the metal floor below, Vader roared as he felt a cybernetic cable snap at his right leg. Luke tried to distance himself from Vader by leaping to a catwalk that stretched across the throne room ceiling. Your thoughts betray you, father, Luke said. I feel the good in you, the conflict. Rising from the floor below with obvious discomfort, Vader said, there is no conflict. You couldn't bring yourself to kill me before, Luke said as he moved across the catwalk, and I don't believe you'll destroy me now. Shifting his focus to the metal supports that, that secure the catwalk to the ceiling, Vader said, If you will not fight, then you will meet your destiny. The Dark Lord flung a still activated lightsaber upward. Luke ducked the red blade, but was unable to stop it from cutting through the catwalk supports, which tore from the ceiling and sent Luke tumbling to the floor below. Vader watched Luke roll out of view under the Emperor's elevated platform. Vader's lightsaber had deactivated and landed on the floor several meters away from him. He extended his hand as the lightsaber flew up from the floor to return to his grip. He activated the weapon's blade and walked down a flight of steps to the area below the platform, where metal girders offered numerous hiding places. Outside the Death Star and on the Sanctuary Moon, the Empire's battle with, with the Rebels raged on, but Vader could not care less. As far as he was concerned, his duel with Luke was the only battle that mattered. Searching the shadows below the platform for the slightest movement, the father said, You cannot hide forever, Luke. From the darkness, the son said, I will not fight you. Give yourself to the dark side, Vader urged. It is the only way you can save your friends. Vader was suddenly aware that Luke was now thinking of his friends, his concern for them almost palpable. Yes, Vader said.
Your thoughts betray you. Your feelings for them are strong, especially for... Luke was unable to stop Vader from assessing his mind. Sister, Vader exclaimed. So, you have a twin sister. Your feelings have now betrayed her too. Obi-Wan was wise to hide her from me. Now his failure is complete. Moving deeper into the recesses below the platform, he said, if you will not turn to the dark side, then perhaps she will. No, Luke screamed, igniting his lightsaber as he, as he rushed from his hiding place to attack Vader. Sparks flew as they traded blows in the dark, cramped area, and Vader was forced to retreat out from under the platform until they arrived at the edge of a short bridge beside a deep, open elevator shaft. A glancing blow ruptured Vader's life support system, and as he fell back against the bridge's railing, he was unable to stop Luke's blade from severing his right wrist. Metal and electronic parts flew from Vader's shattered stump, and his lightsaber clattered over the edge of the bridge and into the apparently bottomless shaft. Badly wounded and utterly exhausted, Vader looked up to see Luke's lightsaber angled to deliver a killing stroke. The Emperor had risen from his throne to stand on the stairway behind Luke. Good, the Emperor said. Your hate has made you powerful. Now, fulfill your destiny and take your father's place at my side. Uh, so, uh, this is how it all ends, Vader thought. But then Luke deactivated his lightsaber and said, Never! Flinging the weapon aside, he declared, I'll never turn to the dark side. You failed, your highness. I am a Jedi, like my father before me. The Emperor scowled. With immeasurable displeasure, he said, So be it, Jedi. If you will not be turned, you will be destroyed. Still lying against the bridge railing beside the elevator shaft, Vader watched the Emperor extend his gnarled fingers and unleash blinding bolts of blue lightning from his fingertips. The lightning struck Luke, who tried to deflect the crackling bands of energy, but was so overwhelmed that his body crumbled to the floor. No, Vader thought. No, not like this. As the Emperor continued to strike Luke with his barrage of Sith lightning, Vader struggled to, to his feet. One leg was broken, and the other wasn't working right. Moving awkwardly, he shifted his bulk to stand beside his master. On the floor, Luke uh, writhed in agony and was on the verge of death as he groaned, Father, please help me. Vader watched Luke curl into a fetal position as uh, the Emperor hurled an even more staggering wave of lightning at his victim. Vader had no doubt that Luke was about to die. His son screamed. Not just my son. The Emperor unleashed another round of lightning. Uh, 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 or uh, or uh, Padme's son. Luke screamed louder. But my son, who loves me. Luke's clothes began to smolder as his body involuntary spasms. Suddenly, Vader realized that he was no longer concerned about his own personal future. Despite all the terrible, unspeakable things he'd done in his life, he knew he could not stand by and allow the Emperor to kill Luke. And in that moment of awareness, he was Darth Vader no more. He was Anakin Skywalker. It took all of his remaining strength to seize the Emperor from behind, lift him off his feet, and carry him to the open elevator shaft. The wretched Emperor continued to release lightning bolts, but they veered away from Luke and and, and, and uh, uh, Ars ba back to crash down upon him and his insurgent apprentice. The lightning penetrated Vader's life support suit and electrified Anakin's or organic remains, but he lurched forward until he could throw the Emperor into the elevator shaft. Palpatine screamed as his body plummeted down the shaft. Still trapped within Darth Vader's armor, Anakin collapsed at the shaft's edge, but heard the explosion of dark energy that consumed the falling Emperor. Hearing his own breathing as a rasping rattle, Anakin knew that, that Vader's, helmet Vader's helmet's res respiratory apparatus was broken. He felt something tug at his shoulders and realized Luke had crawled beside him and was pulling him away from the edge of the abyss. Despite his own injuries, Luke managed to haul his father to the hangar that contained Vader's shuttle. The journey was made even more difficult by the fact that the rebels had disabled the energy shield projector on the sanctuary moon and the Death Star was now under heavy attack. Trying to keep his own legs steady as, as the battle station was wrecked by explosions, Luke dragged his father to the sh shuttle's landing ramp before he collapsed from the effort. He's not going to make it, Anakin thought. Not with me. Luke, he gasped. Help me, help me take this mask off. Luke knelt beside him and said, But you'll die. 
Nothing can stop that now, Anakin said, just for once. Let me look on you with my own eyes. Slowly, carefully, Luke lifted Vader's angular helmet that removed the faceplate from the black Durasteel shell that wrapped around his neck. As Anakin's scarred features were exposed, he was surprised to feel tears welling in his eyes. It's over, he thought. The nightmare is over. He smiled weakly, then said, Now, go, my son. Leave me. No, Luke insisted. You're coming with me. I'll not leave you here. I've got to save you. <sighs> Anakin smiled again. You already have, Luke. You were right. Choking his last breaths, he said, You were right about me. Tell your sister you were right. Closing his eyes as he slumped back against the shuttle ramp, Anakin Skywalker had every reason to believe that he was finally about to embrace perpetual darkness. N now, for the first time, he was wrong. <laughs>